Hi, welcome to Shimatsu, the Shimatsu booth at RSNA 2021. My name is Ken Brown. I'm the RF specialist for the Western Half region. Um, today I'm going to demonstrate the uh, Shimatsu Floral Speed X1. The first thing we want to show is the aperture opening, which is 31 and a half inches. And to demonstrate that clearly is we're going to have a bariatric wheelchair. And in the wheelchair, we're able to fit into the space. And in, in this case, we'd be able to perform an exam, maybe a modified barium swallow. And without that, we, would have to, we won't have to transfer from a uh, unit modified chair, easy access to the wheelchair. So the next steps, we're going to go ahead and move the table flat into the horizontal position. And as I'm doing that, what we want to show is access to the system from this standpoint. You can rotate the table in the horizontal position from an easy touch button. Once it hits horizontal, it'll stop at zero and it won't go beyond unless you have the horizontal button off. But we can go back to zero here. And also from that position, you can bring the table all the way down to 24 inches. So once I hit a level stop position, it will give me a stop. So at this limit, I can fluoro. But once I go beyond that, we won't be able to fluoro. But as you can see, the tube collapses into itself, giving us easy access on the floor. So now we're at the lowest position. And as you can see, easy access on and off the table. And also from a tech standpoint, we can bring the deck up and you can see that 31 and a half inches as well, but also you're able to part the system at any level. So right now I'm at the highest point, but I can bring the deck lower and I can bring the system out from any one of those positions. Once again, bring it even lower and park it. Hi, welcome back. Um, I'm Ken Brown. Now we're, we have moved and transitioned to the uh, G4. So I'm going to show some highlights of the G4. Uh, the first thing is how low the table goes. And as I bring it lower, it does go all the way down to 18 inches from the floor. And once it gets that low, you are able to image from this level and goes all the way up to 43 inches for working space and working height as well. Um, this is a standard 90-90 table. So I'm going to go ahead and transition that to the um, Trendelenburg negative 90 and as you go um, the footboard does go to both sides so the footboard will go to that side and be able to hold 500 pounds of weight limit in all motions and it can hold up to 700 pounds of static limit. As I go back horizontal here we're able to see that the SID in this current position is 44 inches but we're able to increase that all the way up to 60 inches in the horizontal position, um, but we also do have an option at um, 180 millimeters or 180 centimeters, but all the way up to 72 inch SID in the uh, vertical position with the LX model. So now we're going to move on to uh, Score Pro Advance and the technology for uh, the imaging on the fluoro side. Um, the fluoro actually technology came from IXR and R&D had transferred the information from the IXR product to the RNF product side, to the X1 and G4 both. Um, with this new innovation in technology, uh, we have less lag and um, less noise, but also decrease in dose. So it's an enhancement, an edge enhancement in the contrast of the fluoro, but also we're able to have less lag, which you see a reduction in, uh, in the motion artifacts. In this study, we're able to see a modifying barium swallow in real motion. So this is actually captured at 30 frames per second, but we're actually viewing it at 15 frames. Um, what this does is enhance the ability for speech pathologists to be able to quickly diagnose on the fly the images that we're able to see in real time. Um, with that, also, once again, dose reduction, but increase in signal to noise ratio. Shimadzu, we care for you. Excellence in science. Shimazu.